Example number 4 for chapter 5, shear stress. For the beam shown, compute the maximum shear stress for the beam as shown in the figure. Ayan. So, yung figure natin, ano, meron tayong simply supported at A and C. Then, meron tayong ano, uh, loads na 1,500 pounds sa point na to, sa overhang. O, ito yung kabila. And, nasa gitna yung ating 4,500 pounds. Okay, so, ito naman yung ating section. So, T-shape siya na nakabaliktad. Okay, so, ano to? Um, Siyempre, kunin mo natin yung, ano, yung maxi, uh, sorry, yes, kunin natin yung maximum shear force para sa ating beam. And, matutukoy lang natin yun kapag sunod natin yung reaction and i-drawing yung ating um, shear diagram. So, kunin natin yung reaction. So, this is KV and this is RC. And, as you observe in the figure, um, symmetrically loaded yung ating ano yung ating uh, beam and at the same time yung ating mga support is symmetrically positioned okay or symmetrically installed okay so ayun ibig sabihin yung ating AB and RC is equivalent sa isa't isa so dito na natin lagay yung ano yung solution okay kasi dito, dito tayo gagawa ng ano eh uh, shear diagram so ang solution nito ano lang by summation of forces vertical is equals to 0 Upward is positive. So, AB, AB plus RC, we, na kung saan yung ating RC is also AB, then i-multiply natin ito ng 2. Then, minus 4,500 minus 1,500 multiplied by 2. It's equivalent to 0. So, AB is equivalent to AB multiplied by 2 minus 4,500 minus 1,500 multiplied by 2 is equals to 0 so 3750 so 3750 pounds so upward okay, so equal din sa, ano, sa RC natin okay so drawing natin shear and ah sorry shear diagram na pala Ayan. so drawing natin shear diagram Kasi hindi natin alam kung ano yung maximum shear stress, uh, shear force dito. Ayan. So, sa point na to, uh, negative 1,500. Okay. Then, papunta rito, negative 1,500 pa rin. Okay. Then, uh, nagpunta na siya sa, ano, sa point A. Therefore, meron tayong ano, uh, concentrated load dyan. So, negative 1,500 plus 3,750. Okay. So, positive 2,250. Yan. So, positive 2,250. So, positive 2,250 pa rin dito. Then, meron na naman tayong concentrated load. So, minus 4,500. Okay. So, negative 2,250. So, negative 2,250. Then, this is also equal to negative 2, 2, 50. Then, plus RC. So, RC natin is 3, 7, 50. So, positive 1,500. So, positive 1,500. Ayan. Then, positive 1,500 pa rin dito. Okay. So, Um, parang lumayo dito eh. Hanggang dito lang pala. Yan. So, 1, uh, 1,500. 1,500. Positive yan. Minus 1,500. So, 0. Then, lahat naman sila. Point load. Ibig sabihin yung ating shear, uh, shear diagram is magiging 0 degree lahat. Okay. So, 0 degree. Then, umangat. Then, 0 degree. Then, bumaba. Then, 0 degree. Umangat, then 0 degree, then 0. Okay? So, ito yung ating shear diagram. And, yung ating nakuha, ang maximum shear force is yung 2,250 pounds. Okay? So, dyan natin kukunin, ay, yun yung kukunin natin, or, yun yung gagamitin natin. Na? shear force para makuha yung ating maximum shear stress para sa ating beam. Okay. So, meron na tayong V. 
balik natin, natin yung equation. So, B cube over IB. So, wala pa tayong I. So, kunin natin yung I. So, bago yun, ilocate muna natin kung nasaan yung ating neutral axis. So, for example, ito yung ating neutral axis. Then, kunin natin yung Y bar. So, ito yung ating Y bar. Okay? And makuha natin yung Y bar by moment of, ah, sorry, by Parignan's Theorem. So, using Parignan's Theorem, we will determine the Y bar. And yung ating Y bar is equals to, hmm, Okay, so dalawang area. So, nandun na lang. Yan. So, ito, area 1. Then, yung kanyang Y bar with respect to the base is Y bar 1. And ito naman yung ating area 2. So, this is area 2. And yung kanyang y bar is ito. Ayan. Y bar 2. Okay? So, area 1 multiplied by y bar 1 plus area 2 multiplied by y bar 2 over area 1 plus area 2. Ayan. So, ngayon, Puna natin isa, isa So, area 1 is equivalent to 8 inches multiplied by 1 inch. So, this is 8 inch squared. Then, y bar 1. Okay. So, y bar 1 is equivalent to ilan? Okay. So, kalahati ng ano? 8. This is 4 plus 1. So, 4 plus 1. That is 5 inches. Okay? Then, area 2 is equals to 4 inches multiplied by its thickness its, its thickness na 1. So, this is 4 inches squared. Then, y bar 2 is kalahati ng thickness niya na 1. Okay? So, this is equals to 0.5 inch. Therefore, yung ating y bar is equivalent to so, gawin natin ang ating area 1 as alpha 1. So, uh, sorry, alpha A. Then, multiplied by Y bar 1 na 5 plus area 2 as alpha B multiplied by Y bar 2 na 0.5 over area 1 plus area 2. So, area 1 is 8. Then, area 2 is 4. Uh, yes, ang pin pinindot ko pala is calc. Okay? Ibig calculate. So, ang ating uh, Y bar, yung green, is 3.5. So, 3.5 inches. So, ngayon, solve for, uh, yes, solve for um, moment of inertia with respect to neutral axis. So, yung ating moment of inertia is combination of moment of inertia for area 1 plus moment of inertia for area 2. And syempre, lahat ng kanilang centroids is wala sa mismo neutral axis. Therefore, kailangan natin gumamit ng transfer formula. And i-recall natin, ang transfer formula is equivalent to Ix bar plus area multiplied by d squared. Ayan. Okay? So, ngayon, isob na natin yung I1. Ang ating I1 is to, Okay, ang base niya is 1. Ang height niya is 8 over 12. Plus yung area niya, that is alpha... Uh, okay, yung area 1 to. Then multiplied by its distance from neutral axis. I mean, yung distance ng kanyang centroid is from neutral axis. So that is y bar 1 minus y bar squared. Okay, so... This is 1 multiplied by 8 cubed over... 12 plus area 1 that is alpha A multiplied by y bar 1. Ang y bar 1 natin is 5 minus y bar na 3.5 squared. 
Okay, so 60.667. 60.667. Change to fourth. Then, I2. Squibble and 2. Ang base niya is 4. Ang height niya is 1. Cube over 12. Plus area 2, which is your, uh, your, or your, which is our alpha B. Multiplied by y bar 2 minus y bar squared. So, 4 multiplied by 1 cube over 12 plus alpha B multiplied by y bar 2 na 0.5 minus y bar squared. Okay, so 36.333. So 36.333 inch to fourth. Therefore, yung ating, tama ba? Okay. Therefore, yung ating um, neutral axis with respect, ah, sorry, moment of inertia with respect to neutral axis is equivalent to 60.667 plus 36.333. So 97. Okay, so 97 inch to the fourth. So, meron tayong Q, meron tayong V. Ah, sorry, meron tayong V, meron tayong I. Meron tayong D. Okay, ito. That is the uh, thickness of the web. So, yung Q na lang ang kukunin natin. So, Q is equivalent to area multiplied by Y bar. And yung Y bar na to is the, uh, yes, the centroids of the considered area with respect to neutral axis. So, ang gawin natin, ano na lang, uh, A prime multiplied by A bar prime. Ayan. So, dito nyan. Ito kasi hindi ba yung kinukusin natin na, no? na layer? So, therefore, ang kinukusin natin na area is ito. Okay, shade na lang natin. So, ito yung kinukusin natin na area. Ayan. Ayan. So, therefore, yung ating ano, uh, Y bar prime is ito. Ayan. Ayan. So, y bar prime. Okay. So, kailangan natin isolve ito. Yung height na to. Sabi natin h na lang. Or a na lang. Letter a. So, kahit dito na lang sa ano. Ayan dito na lang. So, ang ating a is equivalent to what? O, in total height minus yung y bar. Ang height natin is 9. Then, minus y bar na 3.5. So, therefore, ang ating A is 6.5. Tama ba? Ah, yes. No. 5.5 yata. <laughs> yes. 5.5. Yan. 5.5. 5.5 inches. Okay? So, ngayon, yung ating Q is equivalent to area. Okay, yung kinukonsider natin na area from top fiber to the neutral axis. That is A. Okay, ang A natin is 5.5 multiplied by thickness na 1 multiplied by okay, Y bar. Ang Y bar natin is kalahati ng 5.5. Okay, so ito na yung ating uh, A, ah, uh, Q. So, 5.5 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 5.5 over 2. So, 15.125. So, 15.125 inch cube. So, kompleto na. Okay? So, makuha natin yung ating maximum shear stress. Yung ating V is 2 to 50 pounds. Then, multiply by Q. Ang Q natin is 15.125 inch cube. Over... Okay. Over I. Ang I natin is 97 inch to the fourth. Then multiplied by B. Ang B natin is 1 inch. So, cancel out. Ah, oh, sorry. Ito lang pala. Yan. Okay. So, PSI ang makukuha natin. So, kung malaki yung makukuha natin, divide na natin ng 1,000 para maging KSI. Para keeps per square inch. 250 multiplied by 15.125 over 97 multiplied by 1. Ayan. So, okay na ito. 350 lang pala. Okay. So, 
so 350.838 psi okay so this is our maximum shear stress okay so ganun din kapag kinuha niyo ano kapag kinuha niyo yung layer na to or yung shear stress sa layer na to then ang consider niyo is yung bottom fiber but pwede rin para sa parin kinang makukuha na Q Okay, so kapag ang kinonsider nyo naman is ito, itong layer na to, hindi, ah, sabi natin dito, yan, ah, ito, sorry, ito, kapag ito naman ang layer na pinuha nyo, yan, um, malaki yung B, okay, so maliit lang yung makukuha nyo na, shear stress, hindi yung nagiging maximum, okay, so, dapat hindi yun ang gamitin ninyo na uh, layer, okay, so yan, So, this is our sample number 4 for chapter 5, Shear Stress.